So I got several comments like this uh, the other day when I posted a tip for those of us who are highly sensitive to other people's anger and feel the need to fix it so that we can feel more comfortable. And that tip is, in your mind, think to the other person, I give you permission to be angry. So since I got a few comments like this, I want to differentiate between having an emotion and our actions and behaviors. It's one thing to feel angry. It's another thing to take that anger out on other people. So what this commenter and others are really talking about is setting boundaries around people's actions and behaviors. This commenter suggested a great addition to the phrase, I give you permission to be angry, but not to abuse me, but not to speak to me in that tone, but not to put your hands on me. So for example, our kids might get angry and hit and throw things and yell. We have to teach them how to process that anger in a healthy way without taking it out on other people. Sometimes that's gonna be calming exercises like breath work or compression like hugging and squeezing tight. Sometimes it's gonna take action and moving your body to burn off all of that adrenaline. But more importantly, we have to set the example, which means we have to have a toolbox to be able to deal with our own anger. Mama's real mad right now, so I'm gonna go and step away and take a few breaths. I'm feeling really upset, so I'm gonna go for a walk to calm down and then I'm gonna come back and we can talk about this. Just send me a message if you need tools for your toolbox.